Obviously, some things have changed. I'm now in the U.S. Senate. Uh, I weigh 15 more pounds. And, um, but the country's worse off. And one of the things we have to remind ourselves is that, yes, this president inherited, it's a very simple equation. The president inherited a very difficult economy. He, he inherited a bad economy and high unemployment. He went before his Democrat friends in Congress and got everything he wanted, and everything got worse. And now he's going to go back and say we need to give him a four-year extension to his contract. And I just don't think that's going to work. And the reason why it didn't work is because his ideas are based on a flawed ideology. He basically um, believes that somehow government can create jobs and prosperity. And while government is an important institution and has a job to play, it cannot consistently create ongoing prosperity the way Americans are used to it. So I think he can't run on his record, and that's why you saw the State of the Union speech be one that very touched very lightly on his record. Instead, what he's going to run on is a very simple equation, and that is he's going to divide the American people against each other in the hopes of getting to 51% across the country and winning enough electoral votes to be reelected. And his argument is that the reason why some people in America are hurting is because other people are doing too well, and that the only way that some people can get ahead is for other people to fall behind, that the only way to climb up the economic ladder is to pull other people down. That's just never who we've been. We've never been that country. In fact, in so many ways, this is a country built by people that came here to get away from that sort of thought. And so now the question for us is a fundamental one. Are we going to buy into this? Are we going to go in that direction? Or, uh, or are we going to, to re-embrace the things that made America exceptional and unique in the, 20, in the 20th century so that we can remain that in the 21st? And, and just to remind us of what's happened over the last 60 years in the world, mm -hmm. um, at the end of World War II, the US economy was 200 something billion dollars large. Today it's 15 trillion dollars. It has tripled since the end of the Cold War. That wasn't a function of great presidents and a good Congress. That was a function of innovative people from all walks of life that took the little money they had and started a business and it worked. And they invented things. They invented not just new products but new industries. That's always been the miracle of America. And the foundation of that is that we've always been a country that has said to the world, you know what, send us the people that you think won't, can't make it. Send us the, the, the you know, because in America, anyone from anywhere can accomplish anything. And this is a place where people have done that, where no matter where you were born in life, no matter what your parents did for a living, if you had a good idea and were willing to work hard for it and play by the rules, you can make it happen. And you cannot walk one block in America without bumping into somebody who started off with huge disadvantages and today is a job creator, has met prosperity, and has made other people more prosperous. And by the way, this is not just about America, this is about the world, because the world is clearly a safer and a more prosperous place because of the American century. What America has stood for has allowed a, you know, put, put it, if America was not a strong country, Nazi Germany would have won World War II. If America had not been a strong country militarily and economically, uh, Soviet-style communism would have spread around the world. The millions of people who today are part of the middle class around the world would not be in the middle class. Instead, they'd be living under some sort of big government communist regime. Um, and so the question for us is, if America has to retreat from the world, either because we choose to retreat or because we can no longer afford to play the role we do, someone is going to take our place. If you create a vacuum on the world stage, someone will step into it. And who are the countries that want to step into it? Totalitarian countries. China and Russia. Nations that stand by while people are being slaughtered in Syria because they themselves may one day have to employ the same tactics in order to hold on to power. That's who would replace us. That's who would replace our influence. And that's what's at stake here. I'll close by saying that I think that we as Americans sometimes get uncomfortable because we don't like telling other people what to do. It's not in our nature. We don't want to be the policemen of the world. We don't want to be involved in every problem around the planet. And quite frankly, we can't and we shouldn't. But I think the other thing is sometimes we have no choice because being an American is really not just a blessing. It's a responsibility that starts with the example that we set in our own nation but also extends for the, for the, to the principles and values that we stand for around the world. The only reason why all over the world people are willing to risk their lives in, in search of freedom and, and economic prosperity is because they know there's this place called America where people just like them have made it work. They look to us and say, how come in that country there are people that have a last name like mine, grew up like I did, and are able to have things that we can't have here? And so as much as anything else, the American example has changed the world for the better. And, um, and that's what's at stake here in this new century, whether we'll have leadership in Washington that believes that and pursues it, or whether we have leadership that, by force or by choice, makes us retreat from the world. So that's how big the stakes are. And it's, we're further along that road now than we were two years ago when I was here. And I think that's what November will be about. Senator, um, 